Today we're going to explore ancient Rome, reborn with new virtual reality. Due to the launch of a new project, we want to share with you just what ancient Rome looked like in the reign of Constantine. This is Flight Over Ancient Rome by Professor Bernard Frischer, the legendary director of the Rome Reborn Project. We start off by flying over the Colosseum. There you see the Velarium attached to it, giving shade to the spectators. And right now we're passing over the monumental Temple of Venus and Rome. Now we're walking on the podium of the Temple of Venus and Rome. So what we want to do also today as we look at the incredible reconstruction of virtual ancient Rome of the imperial period in the reign of Constantine, we want to also show you what we do best in Ancient Rome Live, take you on location to give you that nice contrast between these amazing reconstructions and then on the ground reality of what's preserved still today. Continuing our journey, we're flying right over the amazing massive Basilica of Maxentius and Constantine. And on the left, we can see the remains of the Domus Tepidiana. We have a video on that on Ancient Rome Live. Continuing onward, we're passing over the Temple of Antonius, Pius and Faustina into the Roman Forum, into the heart of the ancient city. We're on the Capitoline Hill, looking back at the Roman Forum, past the Clevis Capitolinus Road, past the remains of the Temple of Saturn, there lies the Roman Forum. There's the Cupola of San Martina, the Arch of Septimia Severus, columns of the Temple of Vespasian, and again, that colonnade from the Temple of Saturn on the slopes of the Capitoline Hill. We're back in virtual reality, and we're looking at the Capitoline Hill, the Gamonium Steps, the Augustan Temple of Concord, which is poorly preserved today, going past the Temple of Vespasian, and we're catching a view of the tabularium structure that has been recently interpreted as the substructures for a series of temples on the Capitoline Hill. Continuing on from the tabularium, we're passing over the roof of the Temple of Saturn and catching a view of the Clevis Capitolinus again, that you as a triumphator would ascend to make a sacrifice to the Temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus, the largest temple on the hill that we see in the distance. Of course, it wasn't the only temple on the Capitoline Hill, and we can see here an accurate reconstruction, a lot of it hypothetical, but due to studies, that gives us a sense of the other monuments, the arch, the erected columns, and the temples that were once accompanying the area in front of the Temple of Jupiter. Optimus Maximus. This truly is a breathtaking view of one of the most important religious spaces in the entire city. Back by the Colosseum, we're going past some late antique houses on our way through the Arch of Constantine, and there is the Metasudans, the sweating fountain built by Domitian, destroyed by Mussolini. We've got the Temple of Venus in Rome on our left. We have the Colosseum, and of course, we have that reconstruction of the Colossus that was placed next to the Colosseum in the reign of Hadrian. Absolutely magnificent. Today, here's what we have. We have the Arch of Constantine beautifully preserved, the imprint in the grass from the Metasudans of Domitian. Looking out in the distance to the right there, that's the Caelian Hill. And of course, we have the outer wall of the Colosseum broken on this side as we're pivoting along here in this still gorgeous landscape of the Colosseum Valley. And as we pivot over here, we see some walls that belong to the pavilions along the Stagnum of Nero that was here before the Colosseum. And in the distance, we would see the colossal statue, of course, no longer preserved, but recreated in virtual reality for us. Another great feature of this app is the time warps. So we can see what Rome looks like today and what it looked like in antiquity. And here's a magnificent view of the palace of the emperors sprawled across the Palatine Hill and the Circus Maximus. And on the right side is the Aventine Hill. It was a place of residence and it is a residential district still today. So we've got these incredible views then and now of 
Imperial Rome in the time of Constantine when the Circus Maximus, the life around the use of that circus was still going strong. We have to say that this work is so impressive because it's accurate. It's based on top research and academic studies by an illustrious international advisory committee. And you can get the virtual tour app Yourscape for Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android right now. Check it out. It's free for one week. It's for students, educators, travelers, and lovers of Rome. See the link in the description. So here we are looking at the foreground. It's the Forum Boarium. And in the distance, it's the Circus Maximus with the Palace of the Emperors and the Palatine Hill on the left-hand side and the Colosseum there in the distance and the Aventine Hills on the right. Now, way in the distance, what are those hills? Those are the Alban Hills, today's Castelli Romani. That's where Romulus and Remus were actually born. And you do notice a lot of green space. So much of the ancient city was landscaped. Now we can time warp to another destination, and that's the fun thing about the app. Now here we are overlooking the Colosseum itself. And to the right, it's the Baths of Titus. And they were contemporary with the inauguration of the Colosseum in the Flavian era. Of course, you don't have pretty much anything of the Baths of Titus preserved, but we have so much of the Colosseum. So we love to take you inside with Ancient Rome Live. With the reconstruction of the virtual reality program, you'll come inside and see an accurate restoration and reconstruction of the original design and decoration. Moving over to the Kylian Hill, we have this large terrace for the Temple of Divus Claudius completed in the Flavian era. And just beyond it, it's the winding way of the Aqua Claudia bringing water to the Palace of the Emperors. Now we don't have the Temple of Claudius anymore, but we do have that terrace preserved in the private property of a monastery still in use. Now we have a great view of the Via Appia and next to it, the Baths of Caracalla, some of the greatest imperial baths ever constructed. And we have a beautiful reconstruction of the baths. We can also go inside today and take a look at the impressive ruins what is so amazing about the Baths of Caracalla is that they were made in five years and we have an accurate rendering and study of exactly that process and that knowledge, that scholarship has gone into the reconstruction of the Baths of Caracalla. We're in the Forum of Trajan with the once painted Column of Trajan still standing here flanked by Greek and Latin libraries and the Temple of Trajan and the Basilica Ulpia. What an impressive view of the Imperial Fora. There's the Colosseum in the distance for orientation. Here's that view today from the top of Trajan's column, past the columns of the Basilica Ulpia, past the other Imperial Fora. There's the Colosseum still standing in the distance. Now here's a great view of the Tiber Island and we see the proximity of the Tiber River to the Capitoline Hill. We're passing over to the heart of the Campus Martius, and we can see the dome of the Pantheon. Look at the Pantheon right here. To its left is the Sypta, and to the right is the Baths of Nero. And of course, here's the Pantheon today. The gilding might be gone, the original piazza in front might be gone once lined with columns, but it is still impressive nevertheless. This is the best preserved temple from the ancient world, and we can admire it. And when we step inside today, of course, when we look at the model, the digital model, we get an idea of the original decorative scheme from top to bottom. Here's a view of the Northern Campus Marshes and the newest rendering of the Mausoleum of Augustus. You can check out our video on the Mausoleum of Augustus and who's buried inside. And here it is as an active job site still today under restoration. Pivoting over across the campus marshes past the theater of Balbus toward the theater of Marcellus in the distance and that big open space where everyone's busy shopping is the Circus Flaminius. What an incredible rendering. What an incredible view we have in the virtual reality model. Here is the theater of Marcellus 
today with the re-erected columns of the Temple of Apollo. What an incredible view we have of ancient Rome, all thanks to the virtual reality model from director Bernard Frischer. It's yourscape.com. Check it out and you will have an immersive experience of ancient Rome at the time of the reign of Constantine and you will fall in love with the ancient city and all of its aspects. It's a great way to get immersed in history. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for an unparalleled look at ancient Rome throughout Italy, throughout the Mediterranean.